Hi there. Now for this question, we're given the function f has domain x greater than or equal to minus 2 but less than or equal to 6 and is linear from the point with coordinates minus 2, 10 to the point with coordinates 2, 0. And from the point with coordinates 2, 0 to the point with coordinates 6, 4. And a sketch of the graph of y equals f of x is shown. And in part A, we've got to write down the range of f for one mark. And then in part B, find the composite function f, f of 0 for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward or I'll take you slowly through the solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for the first part, A, we've just got then to find the range of F, write it down. So it's going to be pretty easy. And that range goes from the lowest point of the graph here, which is at zero, all the way up to the highest point here, which is at 10. And we can include those values because we're told that this coordinate here is at 2, 0, and this point here is at minus 2, 10. So therefore we've got the range, let's just put it in then, the range is that it's f of x, okay, don't forget that it's f of x, f of x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 10. Now for part b, we're asked to work out the composite function f f of 0. So what we do first of all then is we'll put this f down, the first f, and we need to work out what f of 0 is. Now f of 0 is going to be this value here. And I can see that because of the symmetry of this graph, we're going two units out that way, two units this way, that this point here must be halfway up this height here. Well, we know it's 10 units up, so this point here must be at 5. The y value would be 5. So f of 0 is going to be 5. So now we'll just put that in that bracket. So next we've got to do f of 5. And 5, x being 5, is going to be along here somewhere, okay? We'll just mark it in here. But where is that point? Well, I can see that this width here from 2 to 6 is 4 units. And the width from 2 to 5 is 3 units. So if we just mark this in green here, this width here, I can see that this value of 5 must be 3 quarters the way across, okay? Let's just put that in, 3 quarters way across the interval, all right? Now that's significant because if I was to project up from the 6, let's just do that with a dotted line, we'll come up there, onto that point there, and across to here, this point, okay, we know, we know it's coordinates here. We're told that it was at 6, 4. So 6, 4, okay, that's 4. But if we're going 3 quarters the way across here, if I was to project up, okay, with a dotted line up there and project across to there, by similar triangles, okay, if this is 3 quarters the way across there, then I must go 3 quarters the way up this height. This triangle here is similar to this triangle here. And so, what's 3 quarters of a height of 4 units? Well, it's got to be 3. So, we get the fact that f of 5 must be 3. And that's our answer to this one. All right.